This is Bolivia for you and those are the roads that we do here. Ton of fun, ton of dirt, ton of dust as you can see in my face. I'm doing sweep today so I'm eating all the dirt. into the mountains from La Sierra, which are the lower plains of the uh, Amazon basin, where we start down in Santa Cruz de La Sierra. And uh, we are now making it up the mountain. Today we will make it halfway up to the telegraph house where Chicoara got shot by the Bolivian army. And then tomorrow we'll make it up to the high plains, the Altiplano. So follow along right here. Hello Motor Dreamers and welcome to my new series Riding Across Bolivia. Today is the first of three episodes from our 10 day trip through this incredible country. On the first day we drove from Santa Cruz de la Sierra to La Higuera where Chiguara was executed back in 1967. We drove through the mountains and villages to get to the location so we could see the history behind the event. get up to the top of the mountain and check out La Guerra village, we had to do some dirt riding. Ah, here at the telegraph's house, this was the dude that telegraphed that Chikawara and his comrades had arrived in trying to hide out in this little village. Um, and so the Bolivian army started mounting up and came up here and arrested him up in the school building. And this house here where we're staying tonight is actually where the telegraph guy lived who alerted the authorities. So according to everything, he was in that room over there that he telegraphed the authorities and the army then came out and Actually, today, the 8th of August, caught Chiguara and his comrades. And tomorrow, the 9th, is the anniversary, 55th anniversary of when Chiguara was executed up in the schoolhouse. On day two, we rode from La Higuera to Sucre, which is one of the biggest cities in Bolivia and also one of its capitals, because Bolivia has two and La Paz is the other. Sucre is an old colonial village in the mountains, so the drive was so beautiful. was almost all gravel so we got pretty dirty. Just look at this. This is Bolivia for you and those are the roads that we do here. Ton of fun, ton of dirt, ton of dust as you can see in my face. I'm doing sweep today so I'm eating all the dirt. But uh, we're heading down the valley on all those cool little roads. Lunch up in 10 minutes. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Sucre. We're here in one of the most beautiful cities in Bolivia, old colonial town. And uh, it's a huge city. As you can see, we just avoided the rain today. But uh, it's a beautiful view up here, so it's a nice good day. <laughs> On 
On day three, we had a lot of riding, about 400 kilometers through the mountains. We rode from Sucre to Potosi, uh, but before leaving Sucre, we did a tour around to see the churches and the Liberty House. Uh, it was a city full of history that you definitely need to add to your Bolivia bucket list. On the way to Potosi, we climbed up around 1500 altitude meters because Sucre has an elevation of about 2750 meters and Potosi is more than 4000. The altitude here in Bolivia is pretty high and the highest cities in the world are located all around the country. Nice work everybody! After a long day of riding and seeing great views along the way, we were able to reach Potosi and relax for the night. On day 4 we went to the silver mines, which was a pretty crazy experience. Stay tuned for the next episode so you can see how it was. So thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see my next episode. Yeah, go this way, look. Yeah? Go this way, he's turned. You sure? Oh yeah. That's clean. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Do you want to move the leg from there? Come over here. Do? Oh, I'm fucking scared. Put your foot on the rock. You're okay. <laughs>